What in the world is a wagtail? You're about to find out. WCR Window Cleanse Wagtail Series coming at you. Let's go. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So there's a lot of, you probably have noticed that there's a lot of different wagtail models. And so we're gonna go through these in this series. We're gonna start with the classic models. We're gonna work our way up to some of the more advanced models, some of the newer models. We'll focus on ultimately what you really wanna buy when it comes to the wagtails. And we'll also discuss different applications, both in hand, on pole, and high pole work, how each one performs, any modifications that need to be done on the tools. And we'll also discuss some of the features. First one that we're gonna start with, the very first one, is just the, the, the classic uh, wagtail, and that is the slimline flipper. And so that's what I have here in my hands. So here are some of the features. You have a pivoting, orbiting uh, handle, and you have a clip system that is a little bit different. It's different from the, uh, the Mormon clip system. You have these longer clips that slide onto this thin edge, and these clips also slide out like so. Now, uh, the old way was that they had the clips actually right clipped onto the channel, and it was very difficult to get them on and off. So this system is much better, just like that, and just put this on like so. Squeeze it on there, and you're good to go. The challenging part is if you ever take the clips off of the pad, that's the challenging part to get, get it back on. And so in order to do that, you kind of have to hold the pad tight, start at one end, and kind of slide down like this. And then you can just put it right on here. So this makes it easy to, uh, to change the pad. Oops. So this makes it easy to change the pad if you want to go from underneath to over the top. This particular job that I'm working on is uh, best used with the pad underneath, so that's how I'm going to use it. So let's go nose to glass, and I got the wagtail rubber, red rubber in here, really long lasting rubber, and the wagtail pad. So let's go nose to glass and we'll uh, see how this performs in hand and on the glass. So here we are and we're about to get ready here so just to make sure your setup's good uh, you just want to slide those clips towards the center and that will keep the ends from getting crimped and then uh, allow you to flip that a little bit better. very forgiving tool, very easy. If you're just getting exposed to these types of pivoting all-in-one tools, the wagtails, start out with the flipper, the slimline flipper. It was also known as the whirlwind. We don't call it that anymore, but um, when it's just the squeegee with no pad, it's the slimline. When you add the pad, it's called the flipper because you gotta flip it. Very, very easy tool to learn on. The, the hardest part is gonna be to get the flipping action. Uh, one note on that, when you are flipping the pad on the pole, when you stand directly in line with the pole, you're going to get soaked. So just stand a little bit off to the side when you flip, okay, and that water will go over your shoulder. Put this out in hand, see how it performs in hand, and I'm just, I didn't even re-wet the window, I'm just using what's still on the pad. You'll 
notice that I'm holding it. My thumb is up uh, close to the pivot. I'm not down like this. Okay. You'll have more control this way, but you're gonna, your hand is gonna move more. When you're down like this, your hand will move less. You'll get more pivot with less movement. Really smooth, no lines, uh, no issues. So that is just kind of like your go-to starting off basic classic wagtail is the slimline flipper. Let's talk a little bit about the actual flipping action. When it comes to the flipping action, you'll see that when you underneath, uh, you have about three quarters of an inch that will flip over like that and it's only the part really that's uh, against the rubber that is going to be scrubbing the glass it's just that that little surface area but the way to do it is uh, you're gonna you're gonna move up and then you're gonna stop short and then you're gonna pin the the pad so what you're gonna move up when you stop short the pad will flip up and then you pin it like that. Just like that. Now, you may find that it's a little easier if you go 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock to flip like that at the beginning. Because that, that pad's already kind of moving that way. So you're not fighting gravity as much. So if you're up on your pole work, you might just find that it's easier to start off that way. So let's talk a little bit about changing your pad from underneath to over the top or vice versa. So I have it underneath. Let's pull it off completely. And then we're just going to flip it around like this. Get one side in. And then just kind of push it in like that. And you would put this over the top when you have ledges on your pull work that you want to close out on. And I'll tell you right now that the closeouts with the flipper are very good. Um, when you close out, this little part of the handle will get in the way, possibly, if you have uh, ledges that are like this wide. But that's where I, another one of the wagtail handles, the PC or pivot control handle, comes in handy. I don't have one on me, but I'll show you that in the uh, future. I'll show you that in a little bit. So you can see how easy it was just to switch that over. And the flipping action is gonna be even easier with this one. You're gonna pull it back towards you and then you're gonna stop short and it will just flip back like that. And then when you wanna flip it forward, you're gonna move the squeegee forward and then stop short and it will flip down move it towards you and stop short and it flips back just like that so it's very easy to use like that underneath it's a little more challenging to flip but you'll get used to it it won't take you maybe a day to really get used to it a full day of use and, and you'll get it you'll get it so let's do this uh, window with the pad over the top even though I don't need to have the pad over the top let's see how it performs videos you know about hang gliding and so hang gliding is the motion where you're not you're not doing full strokes like that you're kind of doing strokes like this you're just hang gliding down the reason that, that comes into being is because of the pad over the top you can't do power strokes because there's the chance that this pad is going to trail your squeegee and leave lines so that's where the hang gliding comes in when you have the pad underneath, you can do those nice full power strokes because the pad is in front of the squeegee. The squeegee is the last thing to hit the, the water. Another thing that we want to talk about is using the angle arm. 
you can use the angle arm if you have to step back away from the window. So let's put that on just like that and let's see how that performs. still you just have to uh, as you move down the window the butt end of your pole may need to come up and you may need to just take a little bit move a little bit away from the window but that's why you would use the angle arm you get a much wider range of motion and you'll notice that to flip the pad I didn't always do it like that sometimes I just tip it upside down like that so if you're inside you're working around people and you don't want the chance to you know you don't want to chance it by splashing them you just turn it upside down pull it away I like using the pad underneath whenever possible which is you know I try to use it 85% of the time and if I do have those ledges I'll switch it over but I like the fact that once you get this flipping action you only have to flip once and then you just pull away and it drops and you don't have to worry about the pad so that's my my favorite that goes for the wagtail and for the Mormon accelerator let's go to another job site and let's see how the flipper performs on second story pole work. Let's go. I'm all set up here to do the high pole work. I'm gonna put you right up there on the glass with the flipper and you'll get to see how that performs. So let's go. you can see there that the closeouts really clean on those uh, two inch ledges and performs really well even on the high pole work. The thing I really want to say is that it's just enjoyable to work with. This tool, uh, the way it's set up now, you can order it, take it out of the box, and then you can immediately start using it with no modifications. And that in itself is a huge feature. So <clears throat> I love that part of it. And also it's just so smooth, it's so forgiving. It's after you get the flipping action down, especially under the underneath, once you get that down, it's just I, I was finding like I was rediscovering the wagtail. I was falling in love with it again. And so that is the wagtail flipper. You can get this at windowcleaningresource.com. The links are below. Click on them, check it out for yourself. I would say easily this will shave off. 15 to 25 percent off your job so if you have an hour-long job you're looking at between 9 and 15 minutes being shaved off each one hi there you know if you're paying 40 to 50 dollars for this tool and you're making 40 dollars an hour and you're shaving 15 minutes off of each job this thing is going to get paid off in about five hours so i really love this tool and i would say that this will this is a workhorse for you in your business and so check it out window cleaning resource window cleanse thank you so much for sharing some time with us stay tuned for the next wagtail episode where we're going to talk about the wagtail orbital have a great day in your business we'll talk soon thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on youtube if you liked the video please thumbs up and subscribe and make sure to check back every monday wednesday and friday so you don't miss a video and if a life without Jordy is unbearable, check out his YouTube channel at The Window Cleanse on YouTube.